put this video out there to help people out that are in my situation or you know I just, just want to do it for the hell of it it's so pretty much my situation was that I had I just got my PC and well I used to play games particularly um, World of Warcraft with my daughter now she would play on this little tablet right here 10 inch tablet Windows capable and well as you guys know WoW is no longer functional on a 32-bit operating system so that threw this whole setup out of the way so you know she was heartbroken so was I we weren't able to play together no more so I was like damn what am I gonna do you know her little tablet she, she would hook it up to this TV right here and well I didn't I didn't have the money to go drop you know six eight hundred dollars on a on a decent you know not too good but a decent computer because that thing was doing like 20 to 30 FPS and you know she didn't like that she's jumping over the professional side pro gamer and she wants that you know nice 60 plus even 100 plus FPS I can't blame her you know she's my daughter she's a little gamer as well so here's where it comes I did something that I never thought I would have been able to do being that I'm not really a computer person myself and well here's my laptop recently bought it um, so what I did is as you can see here let me show you first my temperatures are pretty cool I got a 40 degree uh, on the GPU uh, 58, uh, 53 degrees on the CPU not even full force fans and of course um, I'm showing you right now I'm running the GTX 1070 the i7 processor uh, 6 core anyways so what I did as you can see I made it so that this one computer, this one laptop, functions as two computers. This computer right here, this screen, as you can see, is different than that one up there. That TV is hooked up to an HDMI cable right there, right into my computer. And check this out. Here's World of Warcraft. This is my account. You know, I have it windowed right now just so I can toggle back on my desktop quickly. But yeah, this is this is my account. And um, as you can see, I'm controlling it right here, moving around. And uh, right in front of me, as you can see, I am Skyguard and that is Mimi Sky. Where's Mimi Sky? She's right up here on her computer. Return again. And there's Sky Guard and there's Mimi Guard. So that is freaking crazy. I was able to get, you know, two mice. This mice is for my computer. This keyboard is for mine, for my account, my computer. And this is her little mouse right here. As you can see, I'm moving it. There it is. And she has her own wireless keyboard right here. So that is freaking crazy. I mean, I know I've seen other guys do it, but it, they did all kinds of tweaking to the system files and, you know, copy this, paste that. And I was watching videos like that, and I'm like, I can't do this, man. This, this is too much for me, you know? So I went the easy route, and I decided to get a program that did all that for me. And as you can see, it's running these two games on this one computer. And look at my temperatures, like I showed you earlier, 106 Fahrenheit. And look at the frame rate on this thing. I mean, I know we're just standing here, but look at that. 130, 40-ish. And let's check out the um, the uh, graphic settings. You see, I have them not ultra. I mean, I could put them to ultra. Let's see what happens if we go ultra. Apply. Okay, I, I put it to ultra, and it, it dropped to about 100 FPS. Not too bad. Um, window, let's see. Window full screen. There you go, still at about 100. Hers is the same, as you can see, she's running about 180-ish right now. 180-ish to 200 frames on um, system. Her graphics are also set, you know, a little less than ultra. You bump them up to ultra, apply. Let's make this full screen. And there we go. Now we're still so we're both at about 100 each. So that's pretty good. You know that's some good questing frame rates, battlegrounds. Might have to drop the settings a little bit for raids and all that. And it gets all crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's maintaining it. Good temps. It's not over. Uh, 
overstressing the uh, GPU and all that. So anyways, by this point you guys are probably like, shut the hell up, how did you do it? Okay, well let me show you just how I did it. Like I said before, I got this program. Let me minimize this right here. Oh, another thing I didn't mention. I got my own audio as well. This is my audio. I need a target. I don't have a Hear target. That? I need a target. I, need a target. I don't have a target. And she got her audio coming from the TV over there. I don't have a target. I need a her target. target. I need a target. I need a target. My target. Or uh, my target. audio. So yeah, just wanted to throw that out there too because I thought that was pretty cool. So how I did it? Okay, let me see. I first found out how to do this on YouTube. Like I said, I seen other videos that were just way too much for me. So I found this video. Go ahead and look it up. It's called Single CPU Multi User Setup. It's gonna guide you through step by step. It's pretty damn good in doing that. And at one point, it's gonna tell you to go to this website right here. It's ibic.ru. So go ahead and download the program that best suits your computer, whatever operating system you got. And from there on, just run it. And it's gonna run you through the setup. And eventually, you're gonna get to this right here. This is a window. So easy to use. When you first start it, you're. Um, your number two. Oh, and you can run these many computers as well, but I only need two, you know, it's only me and my, my daughter. So, this is going to be grayed out because you still got to configure it. So, here's a configuration. Pretty much all these items, they were on the left side. So, all you have to do is literally just like click whatever you want where you want it. And that's what I did. I got my speaker for my laptop's audio and I dragged it into here. This is my display. And I got her audio and dragged it into her side. Her keyboard, which is the wireless keyboard I just showed you. You'll know which one it is too, because when you press the key on that device, you see it blinking blue. I'm pressing the space bar, and that keyboard on the right side there is blinking blue. Another example, over here on her mouse, when I click her button, you see that little mouse right there, blinking blue? That's her mouse, so that's how I know. So I put all her items right here, her keyboard, her mouse, her audio. The reason she has two keyboard, uh, two mice is because uh, her, her keyboard has one built in. So I went ahead and even dragged that one on there. That's it. It's simple as that. Click and drag. So once you're done with that, you're going to hit apply. And then you're going to go ahead and get out of that, that tab. And you're going to go back to general settings. Now in general settings, you're going to hit this button. It's going to say enable Astra and reboot PC. So once you do that, you'll shut down. And hopefully you don't get the hiccup I did because when I did it, um, my uh, my screen here went completely black and it stayed black. And I waited like about five minutes until I decided to um, force restart my computer. At that point, I was a little nervous. I thought I might have messed something up. But nope, after I hit that reboot, computer popped up and I saw two login screens. I saw mine and that one up there. And I was like thinking to myself, damn, it didn't work. But as soon as I logged into my, my computer right here, I was right here on desktop and that one was still on the login screen. So I was like, oh shit, it worked. And then I went ahead and logged into hers. And when I tried to log into her, into that, you know, display with this keyboard and it wasn't working. So that's when I knew for sure it worked. So I had to grab her wireless keyboard and I logged in and there we are, you know. Pretty practically that's one computer and this is the other one and it's it's working you know temperatures are low and so yeah here are the uh, the temperatures that I'm getting running um, both these games set to not ultra but you know just shy of ultra uh, GPU is at 46 Celsius my fans ain't even at full blast I guess this one is uh, the CPU is at 58 degrees so it's not really heating it up. Here's the um, old Polar device. Pretty good device too if you want to get it. Hooked up to my exhaust fan. CPU exhaust fan over here is picking up 102 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> and all my uh, connections. Got the uh, my, my chill pad. Uh, one of the uh, G602 mouse. Gaming mouses. Here's my other G602. And this little orange one right here. It's going to be for this wireless keyboard right here. So that's all you need, you know, a couple mouses, a couple of keyboards, a couple of displays, and you are ready to roll. So yeah, go give it a shot, guys. Um, 
Hopefully, uh, you know, you guys have a, a smooth ride like I did, or well, even smoother than me, because I did kind of go through some little problems, you know, here and there with the, actually, just with the, just with the reboot part of it. And um, that's that's the website, that's the video, and that's it. You guys, uh, good luck, have fun, and try it out. <laughs> and yeah, just let me know how it works out. Let me know if you got any questions. And yep, I'm out. Have a good one. Peace out. We got to...